Lakshmi. Now I am going to tell you divisibility rules. What, before knowing that, what is divisibility? Any number divisible by another number which leaves a remainder 0 is called divisibility. Let us go into the chapter. So, divisibility rules. Let us first start with divisibility of 2. Any number whose unit digit is either even number or 0, the number is divisible by 2. Means, any number whose unit digit is even digits. What are even digits? See, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0. To, if any number having 2, 4, 6, 8, 0 in their unit place, it is called, it is divisible by 2. For example, here is 2, 1, 6, 8. The unit digit of this number is an even number. So, this whole number is divisible by 2. And here, 9, 5, 3, 6 is ha also having 6 in its unit place, which is an even number. So, the whole number is divisible by 2. Like this, we can write many of the di divisible numbers which are divisible by 2. Thank you. Let us see the divisibility of 3. If some of the digits of any number is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. Means if the sum of digits of any number, if we add them, the result must be divisible by 3. Then the whole number will be divisible by 3. For example, we took 9261 here and we added all the digits. 9 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 which gives us 18. Again, we done it 1 plus 8 which is 9. As 9 is a multiple of 3, the whole number which is 9261 is divisible by 3. Now we see divisibility of 4. If there have two rules, there are if last two digits of any number is divisible by 4, the number is divisible by 4. Means if the last two digits of any number is divisible by 4, then the whole number taken is divisible by 4. And second rule is any number having two or more zeros at the end is also divisible by 4. If there are two or more zeros at the given number, even then also it is divisible by 4. For example, 262144. Here at the last, two digits are 44, which is a multiple of 4. So this 262144 is divisible by 4. Second example is 91200. As we read here, two or more zeros at the end is also divisible by 4. This number is also divisible by 4. Thank you. Let us now see about divisibility of 5. Any number ends with 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. Means any number which is ending with 5 or 0, it will be divisible by 5. Let us take some examples. 8765. This number is ending with 5. So, this whole number is divisible by 5. And this number which is ending with 0. So, this whole number is also divisible by 5. Thank you. Let us now see about divisibility of 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, the number is divisible by 6. Means, if a number is having an even, even number at its last and the sum of the num digits of the number must be divisible by 3, then the number will be divisible by 6. For example, let us take an example. 7932. 
plus nine plus three plus two, which gives uh, gives us the result twenty one, and two plus one equals to three, which is divisible by three. Three is divisible by three. So seven nine three two is divisible by six. Thank you. Let us now see divisibility of seven. A number is divisible by seven if we double the units digit and subtract from the remaining number. Then the resulting number is divisible by seven. Means if we take a num take a number and if we double the units digit and we must subtract the unit double the units digit from the remaining number. And the result we get must be divisible by seven. Then the whole number will be divisible by seven. Let us take an example: six twenty-three. Here we doubled the units digit, which and we got six. And we subtracted the remaining digit. And we subtracted six from the remaining digit, which is sixty-two. Sixty-two minus six will gives us fifty-six. As fifty-six is a multiple of seven, the whole number, which is six twenty-three, is divisible by seven. Thank you. Let us now see divisibility of eight. If last three digits of a number are zeros or divisible by eight, the whole number is divisible by eight. Means if any of if the three digits, three last digits of any number can be zeros or can be multiple of eight, then the whole number will be divisible by eight. Let us see an example: three seven three two four eight. Here the last three digits, which is two four eight. Are divisible by eight. So three seven three two four eight is the whole number is divisible by eight. And one two five triple zero. As we read here, the last three digits of a number are zeros. Then the whole number is divisible by eight. So this whole number is divisible by eight. Thank you. Let us now see divisibility of nine. If sum of all digits of a number is divisible by nine, the number is divisible by nine. Means if sum of all digits of a given number must be added, and the resulting number must be divisible by nine, then the whole number will be divisible by nine. Let us take an example: eight two six four seven. As we add all digits, eight plus two plus six plus four plus seven, we get twenty-seven. As two plus seven equals to nine, therefore eight two six four seven is divisible by seven. Nine. Thank you. Let us see divisibility rule of ten. If units place of any number is zero, the number is divisible by ten. Means if the units digit of any number is zero, then it is di di divisible by ten. For example, two one four three zero. It is having zero at the end, so it is divisible by ten. And Five seven six nine zero, which is also having zero at the end, is also divisible by ten. Now let us see divisibility of eleven. If the difference of the sum of the digits of the alternate place is either a number divisible by eleven or is equals to zero, then it is divisible by eleven. Means. That if the difference of sum of alternate digits of the given number, the result, if we find the difference of the greater number minus the smaller number, the uh, the result must be a divisible, a multiple of eleven or must be zero. 
then the number will be divisible by 11. Let us take an example. 968. Let, as we said, we took, uh, we added alternate digits which is 9 plus 8 equals to 17 and we subtract 6 which gives us the answer 11. So, 968 is a multiple, is uh, divisible by 11. Next example, 287496. As told, we took alternate digits. 2 plus 7 plus 9, which gives us 18, and 8 plus 4 plus 6, which also gives us 18. So we subtracted 18 minus 18, which gives us 0. So 287496 is also divisible by 11. Thank you. Let us now know about the divisibility of 12. Any number which is divisible by both 4 and 3 is divisible by 12. Means any number which last 2 digits are divisible by 4 and the sum of the digits must be divisible by 3. Then the number is divisible, divisible by 12. For example, 110592. Here the last two digits which are 90, which is 92 is divisible by 4. So let us check the divisibility rule of 3. 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 2 gives us 18. And we add and if we add 1 plus 8, we get 9. As 9 is divisible by 3, 110592 is divisible by 12. Thank you.